is a young American on his first trip to Japan. He finds that customs and manners here can be quite different from those back home. How can he make sense of them? Sense of Japan. Welcome to Osaho Dojo, a place to learn about Japanese customs and Osaho, or etiquette. The instructor is Master Gary, and the assistant is the master's daughter, Koyuki. What will Andy learn today? Uh, oh, by the way, Koyuki, I got you a gift. What is it? Ta-da! Look, it's a cake. That's very nice of you, but actually, I'm on a diet, so I have to pass. I brought you something. You do? Mm. Wow! Wagashi! Wagashi? Yes, these are Japanese sweets. Thank you. Mmm, delicious! Mm. Black stuff is coming out of the stomach. What is this? Go ahead, Andy, have some. Uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm good. Oh, there's plenty. Don't be shy. Go ahead. Uh, okay, I guess I'll have this round one. Mm. How about this one? Oh, more black stuff. What is this? A traditional Japanese confectionery, wagashi are enjoyed between meals, at dessert, and when drinking tea. The black stuff that came out of the wagashi is called ang and is an essential ingredient for sweetening the confectionery. And what is this black ang? Actually, it's made from azuki beans. The red beans are boiled with sugar, condensing into a sweet paste. There's a reason that Koyuki, who loves sweets but is on a diet, chose wagashi instead of cake. Unlike cakes, which are made from rich dairy products, ang is low calorie. Not only ang, but other vegetable ingredients are used to make wagashi, so it's very healthful. With the recent health boom, wagashi are more popular than ever. So this black stuff is beans? It's good. And even though it's sweet, it's nutritious. So you can eat it even if you're on a diet. Yes, and there's even more to it than that. When you enter a wagashi shop, you may be surprised at the variety available. Even though ang is the main ingredient, wagashi come in all colors and shapes. These beautiful, edible works of art are a beloved part of Japanese culture. In fact, the development of wagashi is related to the tea ceremony. As tea spread in Japan, so did the sweet wagashi, which complemented the bitter green tea. In the tea ceremony, wagashi represents the four seasons. For example, a lively peach or cherry tree motif represents springtime. In the hot summer, something cool and refreshing. In vivid autumn, wagashi become rich in colors. In the cold winter, enjoy warm wagashi. Just by looking at wagashi, you can feel the four seasons. They're good for you and they change with the seasons. Wagashi are great. What are you doing, Andy? I heard Japanese sweets are good for you. No matter how nutritious they are, overeating is bad for you. Wagashi are Japanese sweets that convey the season to your eyes and taste buds. They are nutritious and good for you, but be careful not to eat too many. And another topic takes its place in Andy's Japan Notebook.